Tens of thousands of cars passing through the Eisenhower Tunnel every day. Safety, of course, a top priority. A fire in the tunnel could be disastrous, and that's exactly what happened last night. Matt Kroeschel live at that tunnel site. Matt, luckily, CDOT was ready for this one. They have a fire suppression system that's actually built into the roof of the tunnel, and that worked like it was supposed to. It helped them get extra time to get the crews up here from Summit County to put the fire out. Dramatic video from inside the Eisenhower Tunnel as a box truck catches fire about 500 feet inside the eastbound entrance. It ignited the front of the box truck. The box truck started burning. The um, owner of the box truck got out of his vehicle, tried to put the fire out with a fire extinguisher. CDOT crews responding by shutting the tunnel down and launching the fire suppression system. That did uh, work as intended. It sprays about a thousand gallons a minute and dropped a thousand gallons a minute onto this burning truck. That knocked the flames down, giving people inside the tunnel time to escape the heavy smoke and heat. We had about six of our overhead lights that were melted. We had a um, ceramic ceiling tile that warped a little bit from the heat. Local fire crews called in to finish the job. The incident does bring attention to the danger with fire inside the tunnel and why that multi-million dollar system was installed in the first place. Even before this fire, CDOT was planning a test of this fire suppression system. That test was planned for tonight and that is still a go. So if you're heading up here to the high country, you'll be going through the Eisenhower Tunnel. Expect some delays and closures tonight as that test is going on. We are live in Summit County, Matt Kroeschel covering Colorado First. Thank you, Matt.